I'm joined this morning by President Obama's Chief of Staff, Dennis McDonough. Dennis, thanks so much for being here. It's, uh, it's quite a thing to have you here on the last Sunday of the Obama well, presidency. I appreciate very much the chance to be with you, Jake. So let me ask you, there are now at least 18 House Democrats who are boycotting the Trump inauguration. Does President Obama think that's appropriate, or do they think, does he think they should follow his lead and attend for the sake of honoring the office and the peaceful transfer of power? Well, the president has made very clear uh, since uh, the election that we should do everything in our power in this transition period uh, to make sure that the next president and his team are up and ready to go. In fact, on Tuesday night in his speech, he called him the freely elected president uh, of the United States. So uh, that's the charge that we've taken. By the same token, these de uh, Democrats and others have pointed out that they've got significant concerns. And we have found some of those concerns. The intelligence shows that the Russians did intervene. They did intervene with the purpose of helping uh, one candidate and hurting, hurting the other. So these are by no means uh, trivial concerns. So my hope would be that the president-elect will reach out to somebody as consequential and as somebody who is such a leader as John Lewis, who has done so many things over the course of his life, to try to work this out. And hopefully not just reach out to him, but pursue some of the policies that Mr. Lewis has literally fought bled and gone to jail for over the course of his remarkable life. And that would be the kind of thing that would not only send a message to the American people that we're prepared to work together, but would also send a message to the Russians that we are united. Their efforts to divide us, to weaken us, uh, to advance their own interest at the expense of ours are going to fail. 